One and two. Today we're going to talk about how you can take better photos with only your phone. I'm going to show you guys the tips and tricks alongside with examples, so don't miss out. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Justin and welcome to my channel where it's all about photos, videos, and camera style for beginners. So start learning right now by subscribing and hitting the bell button beside to get notified every time I post a video. Not everybody has a camera, but everybody certainly has a phone. It doesn't really matter what kind of phones you are having as long as it has a decent camera. And remember, it's just a tool for you to express your inner creativity. The most important thing that you can do to immediately improve your phone photography skills right now is by turning on the grid or learning how to use them. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter what kind of phones that you're having as long as it has a decent camera. And learning how to compose your shot is far more important than anything else. By turning the grid on your phone, you'll be able to compose your shots based on the basic principles of photography, which is the rule of thirds. Rule of thirds is the basic principles of photography where your pictures will look the best if your subject is placed on the lines or on the intersections. You can either position your subject on the left, on the right, on the top, or on the bottom as long as they have a clear separation of them and the background. I'm going to show you guys some shots taken with the principle of rule of thirds. A short disclaimer here that all the examples that we'll be seeing later on will be taken from pexel.com or pixel.com or however you want to pronounce it. They do have a lot of amazing photos taken by a lot of amazing photographers and all of the examples may not or may be shot with a phone, but they do serve as a great example of rule of thirds. So here's a picture of a man before jumping into the waterfall. Is he gonna jump? Nobody knows. If we put on the grid, we can see that he is placed perfectly a third from the picture on the right and he is definitely hitting one of those lines. Next, this is a perfectly balanced picture and if we put on the grid, we can see that the subject is perfectly a third from the left and definitely hitting the lines on the left. And here's another perfect example of the subject is placed a third from the bottom and the focus is on the center of the image so it really emphasized on the intention of the subject. And yet here we have another half naked man at the bottom of the waterfalls and placing the subject at the third from the bottom. It's actually showing that how he is amazed or all of the view itself. This is a perfect example of rule of thirds. Now that you have understood the basic principle of photography, then we can move on to number two, which is experimenting with shooting with different angles. Shooting with your mobile is definitely easier because of its size and its weight. So start being lazy and shoot everything on par with the eye level and start experimenting with squatting down, laying down on the floor or climb really high up, Should basically just shoot top, right, left, corner or in unique places. You can shoot from low angle like this which place your subject in a form of larger than life. Or you can take a picture from bird's eye view to give your photos a unique perspective. You can do this with food, your gadgets and basically everything else. Perhaps even experiment with reflections like this picture here with water or reflective surfaces. If you can't find any reflections around, you can always make yours. It's easy to do by just by bringing some water along with you and pour it in front of your camera and then just start shooting from there. So before we continue, I just want to say thank you. And if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Number three is to look for repeating patterns, leading lines, or symmetry. Our eyes like to be guided on where to look, and it's all happening at the back of our heads. We humans are built to spot lines, recognize patterns, and symmetry naturally. And if you know how to capture your audience's eye, then you're on your way to success. So when you're traveling and taking pictures, stop standing where everybody else is standing. Instead, look for leading lines like this picture here in the church, or this suspension bridge picture where all the lines are super obvious and it really catches your attention. Same goes for patterns, whether you're taking pictures of food, buildings, or even the floor. Look for repeating patterns and shoot as symmetry as you can. Back to our first point, having the grid really really helps out in this. Number four is to set your own exposure manually. Oftentimes the camera will be overexposing your photo just to keep it safe. If you're shooting in dark places, you can always tap focus and then drag up a little bit to bring up the exposure to show the hidden detail. Or if you're shooting in broad daylight, tap focus, drag down a little bit just to give it a little bit more contrast. Experiment with different level of exposures and familiarize yourself with it so you can take pictures fast and get it right every time. And if your phone supports HDR, please turn it on. It's going to be a lifesaver because what HDR does is it allows you to take pictures from the lighter spectrum to the darker spectrum of your picture. 
and behind the scene is going to be stitching everything together and presenting you with only one picture. In simple words, you'll be able to capture everything. The files might be bigger, but it's definitely worth it if you're doing it right. Number five would be to edit your photos. I know the best photos doesn't really need any kind of editing, but right now I'm just talking about minor adjustment or just to add in your signature style. To do this, I always go to Lightroom Mobile every single time. Number one is because I have an active subscription. Number two is because the software is really powerful and the editing tools are really great as well. It's actually the next level stuff. Simple minor adjustment can make your pictures go a long way, believe it or not. And for example, I took this picture in a rush when I was walking to work. And to be honest, I didn't stood there and take the picture. I was walking and I just snapped it from my knee. But I really want this photo to work for me. So first, I'm going to edit this photo by fixing the composition by going into the geometry panel. I'm going to scale this picture, rotate it, adjust the X offset as well as the Y offset so that my subject is right in the middle. In this picture, my subject is the guy right here. I'm putting it in the center. Next, I'm going to Fix the basic settings where I can adjust the exposure, the contrast, the white, the blacks, the highlights, and the shadows. And after we're done with that, let's don't forget to add some texture into our pictures as well. For this, I'm going into the effects panel where I will adjust the texture, the clarity, the dehaze, and don't forget about vignetting, just to add a little bit of drama. Last but not least, I'm going to give this picture a little bit more flair by adjusting the colors. To do this, I'm going to the colors panel and I'm going to tap on the mix color wheel icon to bring up the hue, saturation, and luminance, where I will find the color red, orange, yellow, green, blue, aqua, purple, and magenta. For this picture, I really want to emphasize on the color orange and red and warm colors because of the pose, so I'm going to desaturate the rest of the colors like blue, purple, magenta, and also green. So here's the before and after picture. What do you guys think? I believe everybody can be better at taking pictures or learn how to edit pictures properly by following the last tip, which is to practice, practice, practice. Just keep practicing until you run out of batteries or you run out of space. Just remember that we're not shooting on films anymore where it's expensive and it's limited. So take advantage of that and never, never, never stop shooting. That's it for this video. What do you think of the list? Or if you have any questions, now's the time for you to leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and don't forget the bell button beside. Like if you like this video and again, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.